Day five, course six, Eagle Crest Golf Course on the Putting Kids First Tour. For those of you watching this video without benefit of knowing what our tour is about, my name is Jonathan Weaver, and my wife Kathy and I have set out on a 416 golf course, 365 day odyssey that will have us set a new world record for most golf courses played in a 365 day period. We're also, with your help, going to raise $1 million for charity. At Eagle Crest, I was more than delightfully surprised. Have you ever had someone give you a precursor as to what something's going to be like and given you a bad impression? Several people had told me that Eagle Crest was a course that was built in a subdivision with thousands of houses, that it was in poor condition, and that I'd be worried all day that I'd hit a house. Well, it's true. It is in a subdivision with literally thousands of houses. The truth is, from the pictures you can see, there's virtually no houses to be seen. Periodically you see houses, but there are so many mature trees that the course feels as though it's in a forest from the third hole to the 13th. The course is in delightful shape, and I have to give much due credit to the new owners, the Kims, who have put a significant amount of money time and effort in their first year of ownership into returning Eagle Crest to being a premier golf course. New head pro and GM Scott Hawking told me that the course does have a reputation of being difficult and crowded, but again, from the photos you can see, this course is in delightful shape and has wonderful nature around it. In fact, I think most people who talk negatively about the course have never been there. Now, the clubhouse is currently undergoing major renovations. It just got brand new windows. It's getting new siding. But on the inside, it's had an extreme makeover. The food is delicious. And the, and the staff, incredibly friendly. This course was a course that I thought was one we were just going to be adding another round to our tour. And it's a course I thoroughly enjoyed. In fact, if I was looking to join a course in a retirement community, this is exactly how I want my home to blend into a golf community rather than dominate a golf course. Eagle Crest should be proud of the work they have of the product they have and the work they've done in the last year to bring themselves back to premier status. In three years time I suspect that with under the new management of the Kims that this place will be jam packed as it's extremely affordable. For the balance of this video, I'll let you see the last few shots from Eagle Crest, which of course include the mandatory deer sightings.